Did you know that time can slow down and space can bend? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not really. These mind-bending phenomena are part of our everyday reality, but they're not something we experience directly. That is, until now. In this video, we'll explore two of Albert Einstein's most famous theories, special and general relativity, and see how they're woven into the very fabric of our universe. Buckle up for a wild ride through space and time, because things are about to get seriously mind-blowing. First, let's talk about special relativity. This theory, proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905, revolutionized our understanding of space and time. It's based on two simple but groundbreaking ideas. First, the laws of physics are the same for all observers who aren't accelerating. Second, the speed of light in a vacuum is always the same, regardless of the observer's motion. This may seem obvious, but it turned out to be incredibly counterintuitive. For example, imagine a person standing on Earth and another person zooming past in a spaceship at near light speed. According to special relativity, both observers would measure the speed of light to be the same, even though they're moving relative to each other. What gives? Oh. To understand this, we need to consider that time itself is relative. It's not absolute. This means that time can move slower or faster depending on how fast you're moving. The faster you move, the slower time moves for you relative to someone who's not moving. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. So back to our example. Because the person on the spaceship is moving so fast, time is moving slower for them relative to the person on Earth. This means that if the spaceship were to travel for a year at near light speed upon returning to Earth, the astronaut would have aged less than a year, while the person on Earth would have aged a full year. It's like taking a trip in a time machine. But wait, there's more. Special relativity also tells us that length can be relative too. The faster you move, the shorter your spaceship will appear in the direction of motion. This phenomenon is known as length contraction. So if our astronaut were to measure the length of their spaceship while traveling at near light speed, they would find that it had contracted to a length shorter than what it would be when stationary on Earth. Basically, the faster you move through space, the slower time moves for you, and you'll appear to be shorter in the direction of motion. It's a small effect, but it's been measured and confirmed by experiments. Now, let's move on to general relativity. This theory, also proposed by Einstein in 1915, is a bit more complicated, but it's also incredibly mind-blowing. General relativity tells us that massive objects like planets and stars warp the fabric of space-time around them. This warping creates what we perceive as gravity. To understand this, imagine placing a heavy ball on a stretched rubber sheet. The ball will cause the sheet to dip and curve around it. Similarly, massive objects like Earth curve the fabric of space-time around them. This curvature affects the motion of other objects, including light. Light will bend as it passes by a massive object because space-time is curved. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing. So how does this relate to gravity, according to general relativity? The force we feel as gravity is actually the result of objects moving through space-time that's been warped by massive bodies. In other words, gravity is not a force, but rather the curvature of space-time. This has some pretty mind-blowing implications. It means that time is not absolute but depends on the strength of the gravitational field. Time moves slower near massive objects. This can be seen in systems like GPS, which rely on satellites moving at high speeds and in weak gravitational fields. To function accurately, these systems must take into account both special and general relativity. They must account for the time dilation experienced by the satellites due to their high speed and the gravitational time dilation caused by the Earth's gravitational field. Without doing this, GPS systems wouldn't be able to provide accurate positioning. But don't worry, you don't need GPS to experience the effects of relativity. You can actually see the effects of general relativity in action by looking up at the night sky. In 2017, scientists detected gravitational waves for the first time, ripples in space-time caused by the merger of two black holes this was a major confirmation of Einstein's theory and opened up a new way to observe the universe. We've covered a lot of ground here, but hopefully you now have a better understanding of Einstein, his theories of special and general relativity and their implications for our understanding of the universe, from time dilation to space-time curvature. 
These concepts are truly mind-blowing and challenge our everyday experience of reality. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. We'd love to hear from you. Who knows, you might even learn something new from your fellow viewers. So keep the conversation going, and let's keep exploring the wonders of our universe together. Until next time, keep thinking and keep questioning. The universe is full of surprises, and we're all in this cosmic adventure together.